Group of five people accused of kidnapping a Metro Atlanta boy and taking him to a squalid compound in New Mexico, where his body was later found, pleaded not guilty today in Albuquerque. They're all facing federal terrorism and kidnapping charges. Feds say two men and three women were running a terrorist training camp on the New Mexico Colorado border. According to investigators, one of the men took his three year old son from Jonesboro, where the boy lived with his mother. Once in New Mexico, they refused to give the boy the medical help he needed because of religious beliefs. So the boy's remains were found when the camp was raided in August. 11 other children were found hungry but alive, along with guns, ammunition, and a firing range. Well, today, the group was seen smiling together in the courtroom. Here's their defense attorney. Maybe the smile was a smile of joy for their family, but wasn't a smile of joy for what the government is doing. Well, four of the five could potentially face the death penalty for kidnapping charges. The boy's father is the only one in the group who does not face kidnapping charges under federal law. A parent with legal custody cannot be charged with parental kidnapping.